Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing Jin Botlane versus Blitzcrank and Zaya. Zaya is doing the Eclipse build where you know you just throw cues at, throw cues at people. Hopefully, uh, I don't get pulled here. That would kind of suck. They do have a Blitzcrank, so obviously invading should be pretty uh good for them. Um, our level ones are not bad, but we're not like five man stacked anywhere, so I would say that it's good for them. Um, they're very AD heavy. In fact, they have no AP except for Blitzcrank. So, doesn't affect me at all, but, um, Nar and everybody else, I guess, can try to go, I don't know, tab eyes or something? Or, uh, it's called plated steel caps now, just kidding. Forgot. And yeah, the season... Uh, the season starts tomorrow, so... I'm pretty sure it's just the same as every other season. Everybody just basically goes down a bunch of ranks, but you keep similar MMR. So basically, if I just continue playing on this account, I'm just going to be in the same exact games. Sometimes you get different players, sometimes. And then you just have to climb back to where you previously were. It's really nothing. It just looks like you the ranks being reset, but it's just a soft reset. So like MMR is exactly the same. Uh, because Blitzcrank used Hook, we can just walk straight at them like that, because there's really no risk in this lane when he uses Hook. He does have Hook again. Like, it's coming back up, or it is back up by now, I mean. Darn, I was really hoping I would be able to get her with that W there. I've played the Zaya matchup before as Jin, or against a Zaya, and it almost feels like it's good against Jin because you can keep queuing him with this other build, you know? It seems good to me. The airy just constantly proccing. Because normally Jin can like push people off of the wave with his like fourth shot plus Q, but Zaya just Q's the wave. So then there's like nothing really we can do. That was a really good poke that we just got on Blitz there. We're winning in CS like quite a quite a bit, so we do have that going for us. I just continually have to sidestep over and over again. Nice poke once again. He's out of potions now. It's pretty big. Okay, really good charm by that guy. I'm gonna throw down my thing to slow him here. My trap. And then we're just gonna base because the wave is actually slow pushing towards us because the wave is bigger. So it's gonna come back towards us and deny creeps for Zaya. So really good RE charm so far. Oh, it's like it's actually Aatrox mid, or wait, I don't know. Maybe they died and swapped or something. So as you can see, we're coming back. Have a wave coming to us. Normally you don't want to shove out waves if you just can't clear it that fast. Like, the wave was too big. It would have taken a long time for us to fully clear it, so it's just better to reset, basically. That's my philosophy on it, at least. If you can clear the wave pretty quickly, might as well. I mean, normally it's it's good to 
have the wave bounce. Uh, all these creeps are messed up, and I can't fix them. Nice, at least we get to clear out this board. Zaya still has flash, by the way, so, like, landing charm on her still isn't, like, a guaranteed kill. If she was flashless, it would be, but... He was literally sitting here. What the fuck was that? Man, I mean, good gank, I guess. He was smart. Sitting inside the alcove, and there's really no way for me to counter that. Got Swifties. Wave is whatever. Everybody's doing, like, decent, so... I'm not really too worried about that. In fact, I think Arya also can, like, make it... Yeah, see how the wave is, like, kind of frozen? It's still going to slow push back towards them because it's not big enough, but... Oh, nice. Even hit her. I don't know. Got pretty good chunks there. I mean, we could probably do dragon or something. I don't think that hit anybody. You can normally see the animation when it hits someone, so... Didn't hit anybody, but that's okay, because we get the dragon off of that. Because they have to base. Alright, we're coming. Good bait by the action. I mean, um... It probably should have been obvious to Aatrox that... We're on the dragon, because... I just shoved in bot lane, and I'm not on the map anymore, so there's really only one place I could be, because... I just recently came back in the lane. Okay, so the reason why I'm not just hard shoving here is because I'm trying to make it so we can, like, maybe pressure her. Nice. I didn't throw it to the edge because most people will uh, realize that that's, like, their way out. So I threw it, like, next to it so there was like more distance because it just felt like the correct spot to put for killing her but yeah see she stepped up for the wave she had to step up for the wave because the wave was actually slow pushing towards us so if she wants to be with an exp range she, or last hitting with her q or something she has to step up she had to step up so when she steps up, that's when Ari and me go in. I mean, Ari knows what to do as well. I mean, we're playing inside of Grandmaster Elo, so people know when to step up when they're, like, the Blitzcrank realmed mid, the person's alone. I could even base here, to be honest. I don't like this fight. The person has a ultimate still, so we were never going to win that, um, even if Ari didn't immediately die, and if I healed her, she probably still was dead. I don't know how my trap didn't hit her there. So... I can't really do much with my current mana. I can wait for Ari to come back bot with ultimate, though. Like, when she's back in lane with ulti, we might be able to look for maybe Blitzcrank. 
I don't know how realistic killing the Zaya is because her ultimate. Well, she backed off really, really, really far, so. They're definitely basing. So that means we can just shove this out again. We're doing really good CS wise. And I just base. Don't get our Gale Force, but that's okay. skin is that? Oh, the Elderwood one. I have my flashback up. <laughs> I have a trap there to protect me from something like that from happening. Because people, whenever they go for you, you always just throw traps on, like, the sides of the lanes. Because people will never run through creeps to fight you. I mean, it's just... You get creep locked and stuff, and normally they come from Fog of War, and creeps obviously get vision. So, the best way to get to you is normally through Fog of War. Ooh, okay, so Bloodscreen Cook is down. It's pretty big. Dude, that's a giant bounce that I just got on that guy. She walked up and got hit by a uh, my Q that killed every other creep there. Just putting down another trap just in case Blitzcrank tries to run at us again. I think she's just dead. Oh wow. Oh no, she did die. Just kidding. How, dude? That hurts so bad. We'll just kill her with the flash because she used her flash, so. Oh. No, I missed up cannon because I was rotating. Just putting down traps everywhere. I don't want to get a hit. As long as I don't get pulled. <laughs> Fourth shot that guy. I had to sidestep just because if I get pulled there, there's a chance that Graves just one shots me. Okay, we got the wave in, so now we can dive. All we need to do is have Ari tank. Oh. Went out, just kidding. Alright, so she has Eclipse, and my Gale Force is in base, so I really should base here. Dude, she is dealing so much damage to my Ari right now with this poke. Oh. Well played. Really good, um, Flash Charm. I mean, uh, she did use Flash earlier, the, the Zaya, so it was just a free kill. This guy can freeze if he wants. She's dead for 15 seconds. He's gonna be here for literal years doing this. It's fine, man. Do it. Um, honestly, Graves plus Aatrox with this, and this guy's building armor, I think we just go LDR second item. Like, they ha are building a lot of armor already. I really don't mind going Collector when people have no armor at all, but also Graves obviously gets armor all the time from his E, so. A lot of value from, like, he's building armor as well. Everybody's building armor except for the Zaya. Mm, well, I'm not going to be there for that fight, so I hope my team can just win without me. Wow, 
Wow. Oh, it was warded. She knew. But I didn't get hit, though. Dang, that hit me. What am I doing with my blue trinket? I thought I had a normal board. Let's see if that bounces to her. Nice. All these traps once again protecting me from a gank. Make it so they can't get on top of me. Isn't that already gone? He literally was just there. Oh, what's up? But I don't think he needs our help. All right, maybe we can finally get bot tower now. We have a lot of people around, so I feel like it should be free. I gale force to try to get behind her, so then the feathers wouldn't hit me. I don't really know how much damage they're gonna deal. I don't really play against this Saya thing very often as being a bot laner myself. But I, I don't know why Zaya would also make the mistake of stepping up towards us um, when we're just hitting tower and it's about to die. I mean, it's um, a very easy thing to just not die to. Like she could just, just wait for us to kill the tower and then uh, get the wave afterwards rather than step up, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Bless me. Um, I hit him, so his mobies are proc, by the way. Dude, Aatrox flashed away, Zaya flashed away. No way! What? I'm alive? I flashed away. The thing is with, with Aatrox, if you flash, the, the game's based off of ticks. And I might have not been outside of it, but there's this other thing that I'll explain as well. You can flash out of Aatrox W, which is the pullback. And because if it's like on a tick rate of like every quarter second or whatever, uh, it, it's not updating all the time. Sometimes you can flash out of it and get pulled all the way back in. So I thought that's what just happened to me there, possibly where I flash out, but it just pulls me back in because I flashed basically on a similar tick as the game didn't register that I'm outside of it yet. Man, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do against that. I just die. <laughs> they literally ran me all the way down. <laughs> so. Use flash and everything. That's okay, though. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really, really fed. We're one dragon away from the soul point as well. Uh, Sonar's gonna be going bot, obviously, because 
Normally the TP user is supposed to go to the opposite side of the map. He doesn't even have a TP, but whatever. Um, I'll probably be taking over mid. I'm pretty sure Action enjoys side laning, but we'll see. He might be going mid because he doesn't have a wave to collect yet. Like it's it's kind of just an even wave up there, so he just doesn't have anything to do. Well, I hit her. Didn't really do anything, but I did hit her. There's four people mid, so I'm just not going to step up. There is literally no reason to get ourselves killed here. Oh man, if that Nunu Snowball landed, she could have probably followed that up. Because the Zaya did use ultimate. Ooh, wow, that actually landed. If we were able to follow that up with a charm, I would have immediately ultied. Graves went top, so... Uh, not the best of action ease there. You know, if we just kill the Graves, we can just do Baron afterwards. Well, we got the Blitzcrank at least, I guess. I think if we all rotated towards Graves, it honestly would have been a good play, but whatever. Hmm. Just fourth shot that guy. Use Gale Force to give myself a little bit of distance. See if I can land W on this guy. And then just immediately ult. There's nobody low, so it doesn't even matter if I land it or not. It doesn't doesn't do any damage. Because Graves is dead, and now they have no jungler, they should be forced to fight us here, otherwise give up the Baron. They'll try to pull over the wall, so we just need to not get pulled. I mean, I can't get pulled from here, so the only person I would be able to get pulled is uh, Nunu. Yeah, and as you can see, there's literally nothing that they can do, right? Even if their jungler was alive, we have a Nunu, and Nunu is, like, impossible to outsmite, really. Theoretically, it should be impossible, because all you need to do is just time your Q smite at the same time. Pretty close to our Infinity Edge, and then basically we like two-shot people. Infinity Edge is such a big spike for Jin. I'm just gonna hit her with W. That actually did a pretty hefty chunk though. Goodness, I didn't expect to deal 300 damage there. Alright, so we might get pulled. So, yeah. Okay, one dead. I'm just gonna heal her just to help her. I'm just gonna flash over in Gale Force because we hit that, um, the Jin W. That's a good example of what the animation looks like. Your Jin W is supposed to be really long, but when you hit somebody, it it stops it because it it will stop on first hit of a, a champion that is, so you always know that you hit it on somebody because of that. I kept on running back and forth between the minion because I, I figured it would maybe bait the Blitzcrank to use his Q. Like, if you keep running in between this minion here over and over again, but, like, don't actually put yourself in too much danger of, like, 
him actually outplaying you, you should always be able to like bait it out. Because they'll normally look at it. They'll look for the play. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just going to continue building some items here since we're so fed. We have two inhibs. I, I personally would be FFing at this point. I don't really know who still believes on their team, but it, it seems pretty doomed for them. So we can just go for a top inhib and then the game's over because triple inhib is... There's like win rates based off of things and triple inhib, I don't know the exact one, but I'm pretty sure it's like 95% chance of winning. Because coming back from a triple inhib is basically impossible. I didn't crit. I didn't crit? <laughs> Got that guy. Got that guy. I let him juke himself. Just don't even throw out my ultimate. And he used his E, his dash. We saw him use it. <laughs> so. Oh, please. Oh, he has that. Oh, no, I'm dead. Whatever, we got them all. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gen commentary about what I'm trying to do when I'm inside of laning phase. A lot of bot lane has to do mostly with support. I just played off of my Ari's charms while also actively just making sure that I'm not the problem and getting hit by blitz hooks. Um, you know, play off my support, but at the same time, make sure that my support can play off of me as well and not be the reason why we lose. So, did really good damage this game. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys to see how I played gen bot lane. My gen win rate is terrible, and trust me, there's plenty more games of me losing, but this is what it looks like when I win, and everything goes right. So, uh, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, and I will see you guys next time.